Hello, welcome to another video. It's done. The bonus IBC tank hauler. And this thing is freaking Mad Max-esque. Right? Because not trying to buy anything. So there's my little construction. It's all standable. It's on there. The tank's in there so tight. I don't even need to put any sort of uh, locking pin or anything. I mean, it's in there. The chains are on there. We got this thing on there, obviously. So it is ready for testing. That's the next step. I gotta make sure that it pulls, it pulls straight and it pulls nice and it can be filled up and it doesn't break. You know, make sure it's perfect before. I put it up for sale. I want to sell it to somebody out here just to keep these things out here because I actually have a whole entire uh, firefighting program that I'm going to introduce to this community. Uh, make sure you subscribe for that video because it's going to be about a firefighting trailer, which originally that was my firefighting trailer, but I've got a whole new plan for firefighting now. But these things are key. And I'll just let you know how these things, this type of thing and that type of thing, are for refilling the main trailer, right? So you got a trailer with the pumps and everything, and then those can pull up and just pull up and fill up the trailer, fill up the trailer while the trailer's fighting the fire. Coming soon. All right, so here we are. Obviously, I got that down because I needed to take my 20K into the shop to get the axles maintenanced. So this is down now, and I didn't film it because I was lazy. But I had a problem doing it, of course. Backhoe down here and the chains that I used to lift it. <laughs> and I pulled forward before I pulled the chains up out of there. So it was up like this, and then it fell down. And then I had to put it back up like that, which was, of course I wasn't filming. All right, so finally got this thing all ready to to be welded i actually just have to double check and make sure there's a level surf it's flat or whatever you want to call it oh, i got that all chopped up and it goes right there got that all ground up now what i got going on over here right, i'm gonna weld this to that that way i have no extra to cut off here when i cut off and then I'm going to wrap the chains around this thing. Roger Wilco. Should be exciting. I'm bringing y'all along for the ride. Yeah, it worked. This, I don't know if I can show that. Take my damn word for it. I pulled it up close enough. Now there's gonna be a C channel that goes down the whole side of this. And so any, any indifference in that, this, I'll pull it to the C channel. Little bit, little bit, it'll line right up. 
this will be a perfectly straight trailer. I needed to do this right now because this trailer is going in for its yearly hub oil change and they check a lot of stuff. Like this is an expensive trailer to run and it's like it could be anywhere from $500 to 800 bucks or something like that a year just for those but you know it's got capabilities it's a pretty nice trailer check out the video where i worked on that one and fixed it up and had the big deck on it like subscribe peace thank you for watching